Okay, so now we're gonna add the other assets as well. All right, for that, go ahead and download this .winrar file in which you will find all of these assets, which are the keys, the granny character, the X, and everything else required. All right, so now let me tell you that from where I get these assets, all of these assets, so the keys are freely available on the Unity Asset Store. You can just search for key and lock by CJ Cell, all right this is the developer name this is a free asset so you can get it from there if you want and then this is the simple keys all right if you want you can get this from the unity asset store as well this is the creator name and as you know this is a free asset then the X is also from the unity asset store and it is freely available all right then after that we have this grainy character this is freely available on sketchfab for everyone to use all right so you can go ahead and search for grainy animated fpx this is the creator name and this is freely available to download so make sure that you download it in the dot fpx format and the same for the shotgun as well but if you want to get all of these assets assets directly without wasting any time then i have provided this assets zip file all right you can also get it from here so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just drag and drop this inside our project all right i'm gonna drag and drop it in this game folder so just drag and drop it and now it will import in few seconds as you can see it is imported so the first one is the keys if you open up the folder these are all of the keys all right in here you will find these animations all right so if you want you can delete them all right then we have the x right here there are two type of X the first one is just X and the second one is X clearly then we have this keypad all right which we use in the game all right this is the keypad as you can see it doesn't have the materials but don't worry we will add materials to it once we will be using it then we have this key right here all right then we have the shotgun and after the shotgun we have the granny character right here as you can see all right this is the granny character and if you check the granny character its scale factor is 200 and convert units is set to true all right because this is the height which we want for our granny so make sure that you uh, resize your granny according to the environment all right and this is the granny animator all right and we have the param parameters and all of the animations already set up all right i'm gonna show you once we will be working on our granny then after that we have these materials these materials are for our wood all right which we will be adding to the store but for now we will just keep these materials on a side all right because we are not doing anything with our doors all right because first of all we want to create our camera controller and our player controller so from the next video onwards we will focus on that so see you guys in the next one